investigation of a doubly reinforced rectangular concrete beam using NSCP 2015 part 1 hello everyone this is Dela Cruz engineering video tutorial okay and in this video we will learn how to calculate the design moment capacity of a doubly reinforced beam with respect to NSCP 2015 okay so in this case this is the part 1 and um, the specific case here is the tension still will yield while the compression don't yield okay so without any further ado let's start to solve a problem so determine the design moment capacity of the beam shown so the beam is reinforced with 425 mm tension bars and 225 mm compression bars at a D prime distance 70 mm okay so this is the effective depth and these are the material strengths we have the base also 300 so what's the first step sa concrete I mean for the beam problems to locate the neutral axis okay so if we will draw this on side view at the cut portion of beam ito yung makikita natin okay so projecting that and this is the um, bars the steel bars this is the for tension this is for the compression okay so let's assume na ang neutral axis is andito and that is at a d at a distance c from the compression of concrete extreme compression okay so let me show you this code okay may nakita ko, it, ko ito from my previous video na so pakita natin ulit so sinabi dito sa code na the concrete stress of 0.85 FC prime shall be assumed uniformly distributed over an equivalent compression zone bounded by the edges of the cross section and a line parallel to the neutral axis. So let me highlight this. A line that is parallel to the neutral axis located at a distance A from the fiber of maximum compressive strain ito yung sinabi sa code well if we will draw it here magiging ganito yan huh? uh, it will form a parallel line daw from the neutral axis so this is the neutral axis and this will be the parallel line okay and, and we will cut it here ito yung magiging effective compression block ng ating concrete daw well theoretically the effective compression talaga is from the neutral axis but sinabi sa code na it will be assumed that ang uh, yung effective compression block is andito at a parallel line distance sinabi nga dito okay and that is from the extreme compression strain so from dito no extreme compression strain and that is a distance a from that point daw no? and that a is just beta 1c Okay, pinakita ko ito from my previous video. So, I hope panoorin nyo yun. Okay, and it says that the stress daw of this concrete is just 0.85 of FC prime. Or 85% of the capacity of the, or the FC prime mismo. Okay, so this part here is also the D prime distance. No, that is 70. Now, this uh, uniform stress here will create a compressive force and ito yung sa concrete okay and this compression bars naman will create also a compressive force and that is called the compression of steel bars let me denote that as c sub s okay and these forces will be account by a tensile force of these steel areas no and that is denoted as t and because of these forces it will create a moment so by the way this is the distance distances na involved so this distance is just total depth minus half ng a because the concrete is acting at the centroid okay and this distance naman is just the total depth minus d prime take note this is d prime that is also here so that is d minus d prime okay and again it will create a moment here if we'll take moment about t that is c 
times this distance plus cs times this distance okay so it is more advisable na dito ka mag take moment sa t because um, if you'll take moment dito sa itaas hindi natin alam saan yung centroid nila okay uh, it will be more complicated sa solution okay for doubly reinforced talaga will take moment about t now we will define that forces uh, this is the nominal moment no that force t is just asfs or stress times area again ito yung inuulit-ulit ko sa mga previous video ko para mas matandaan nyo talaga and again this is the compression of the concrete this is stress stress is 0.85 fc prime and the area is a times b okay and the compression of the steel naman is stress times area pa rin. so stress is fs prime and the area is called as prime okay for compression now the moment here is ito the compression times this d minus a over 2 and cs times this distance d minus d prime okay that is just basically force times distance okay a moment is a force times distance okay so how will we start to solve the compression dito i mean the distance c so we can solve that by equating the forces so the tension force is equals to the compression plus the compression of the steel bars kaya ganito yung equation no? so let me solve first the tension and compression bars so for the tension bars is apat na 25 mm so that is 1964 millimeter squared for the compression bars man that is as prime so dalawa lang dalawang 25 mm so actually half lang nito no? 982 millimeter squared now take note dalawa yung bars natin tension steel bars so there are three cases na possible na mangyayari dito so ito yun no? this is the three possible cases so the tension steel yields so fs should be greater or equals to fy lang and yung compression steel naman don't yield or doesn't yield so ito yung fs na gagamitin natin yung actual formula so that should be lesser to this fy so the second case is baliktad naman yung tension steel hindi mag yield so ito yung gagamitin natin yung actual stress no? and that should be lesser to fy and the compression steel will yield so your fs prime should be greater or equals to fy okay so the third case is yung both tension and compression bars will yield so fs and fs prime um, will be equals or it should be greater or equals to FY lang. Okay? Well, in this series of our videos, ito yung first na gagawin natin, no? Na tension steel yields and compression steel yields. Okay? For the purpose of teaching lang. No? Um, if you are, kung kasi, um, experienced designer, makikita mo na agad ano yung case na mangyayari. But, for the purpose of demonstrating or teaching, ito yung first na gagawin natin. Ito, then, if mali yung assumption na ito, dito ka and if mali ito dito tayo okay, para makita nyo talaga yung step by step na um, solution okay anong gagawin natin we'll assume this first case no? so assuming tension still yields so fs should be greater than fy while compression still yields we'll use this formula and that should be lesser than fy okay so <coughs> um, using this equation the tension is as fs so fs here should be 415 lang so we assume nga uh, nag yield siya no then the compression is 0.85 of fc prime then our a here um, our a is beta 1c okay so beta 1 is 0.25 because the fc prime is lesser than 28 okay pinakita ko na to no beta 1 c then your b is 300 plus as prime as prime is 982 times fs prime so we assume na hindi siya lalagpas sa fy kaya ito yung ginamit natin no as you can see we can calculate the distance na that is 123.16 millimeters so use your calculator na lang dito no use your ship sold okay we can use naman ship sold in 
the programmable calculator na inalaw ng PRC. Now, after this, we can solve our A, beta 1C, and that is 104.7 millimeters. Now, after we solve our C, dapat iprove natin yung assumption natin. Ang dalawa yung iprove natin, no? This one and also this one. Now, proving this um, tension steel yields, ito yung formula, di ba? And calculate that our D is 455.5, our C is ito, and also our C here. So, that is 1619 megapascal. And that is truly greater than FY, which is 415 lang. And this assumption here is correct. How about this one? Using that formula, 600C minus D prime, and substitute, our C is 123.16, D prime is 70. And that is 259 mega pascal. And as you can see, that is lesser than FY, which is 415 mega pascal. And this is also correct. Our assumption for that is correct. Meaning, we can proceed to our solution. No? Ganito, um, ganito sa design, proving your assumption. If your assumption is correct, proceed your solution. If one of your assumption here is um, incorrect, so revise your solution. Gagamitin natin yung um, second assumption dito or the third assumption. It depends. No? But in this case, this is correct. Then we will proceed. We can actually solve our nominal moment capacity na dito. So using this formula here, that is C, the compression of the concrete is 0.85 of Fc prime times A. So we have our A here times B, um, D minus A over 2 plus the compression of the steel. So AS prime 982 and FS prime. So our FS prime hindi lumagpas sa FY kaya gagamitin natin ito. Okay? Tapos D minus D prime. And that is 324.03 kilonewtons meter. Okay? Now the question here is the design moment that is the phi mn. Now, this case happens, no? Our actual stress on tension is greater than 1000 MPa. So, ano yung reduction factor na gagamitin natin dito? Okay, buksan natin ulit yung code. So, pinakita ko rin ito from my previous video. So, please watch from the link here. Okay? Mamaya. So, our FS daw, denote as FS, the actual stress, is 1619. And that is, if this is 1000, somewhere andito, no? Lumagpa siya sa 1000. So, if we locate that to our y-axis or the reduction factor, the reduction factor here is um, constant to 0.9. So, we will use phi as 0.9. No? Otherwise, if andito na boundary na ito, transition zone, we will use this formula. Or if your FS naman is lesser than FY, which is 415, so 0.65 yung reduction factor natin. Okay? So in this case, that is 0.9. Then calculating the VMN or the design moment capacity, the answer is 291.62 kilonewtons meters. Okay? So some would ask here, no? Sir, um, hindi ba natin i-check if, if needed ba talaga yung compression bars? Okay? Um, may mga katanungan dito na hindi ba natin i-check daw through the maximum condition. So, actually, um, gagawin natin yun pag nagde-design tayo. No? Uh, what we're doing here is investigating the capacity. So, binigyan ka ng beam at may mga bakal, alangan namang i-disregard natin yung bakal dito sa taas, which is ando na. No? Well, if we will kuan, um, be designing a beam, uh, binigay yung loads, wala pa tayong bars, wala pa tayong rebars, so, we will follow the step of the design, so, i-check talaga natin if needed ba yung bakal talaga. No? Well, in this case, binigay naman yung bakal, andyan yung actual, so, i-check talaga natin yung capacity na. Yeah. No? So, para mas uh, masatisfy kayo, what if, uh, pakita ko ito, no? What if i-disregard natin tong compression bars? Ano yung mangyayari? So, actually, ito yung sinabi sa code, no? For non-pre-stressed beams with PU is lesser than 0.1 FC prime AG, so, disregard na lang this, no? Inequality because we don't have actual stress dito. This is actual stress man, no? 
So it says that the epsilon t shall be at least 0 0.004 or the strain of this steel, tension steel, must, must be at least 0 0.004. Or we could also say that our Fs should not be lesser than 800 megapascal. So our Fs daw should not be lesser than 800 megapascal. So ito yung nakasaad sa code. Hindi niya sinabi yung row max. Wala nang row max, row maximum. Ito lang yung sinabi niya. So, pag liliit dito sa 800 megapascal, can be designed as doble na. So, ipakita ko sa inyo. What if i-disregard natin ito? Okay? Para mas satisfy talaga kayo sa reasoning natin. Okay, I have here a MATCAD solution program. So, naka-program ito, no? So, the same, nilagay ko dito yung the same dimensions, the same givens. We have here our givens. 25 mm bars uh, D is for 55 this is the area this is the material strength okay and tingnan nyo ano yung nangyari sa actual stress this is the actual stress of the um, tension reinforcement FSI denoted this as F sub SA no? so actually this is lang ito yung FS lang which is uh, 1619 kung merong compression bar but here, I disregarded the tension bar. So, ano yung nangyari sa FS natin? Mas lumiit. ba? Mas lumiit siya kung wala siyang compression bar. From this, no? If we have compression bar, mas malaki yung stress niya. So, the conclusion here, if tatanggalin natin yung compression bar, may tendency na liliit talaga yung actual stress sa tension. Okay? Tingnan nyo, lumiit talaga siya. So, may tendency pala pag tatanggalin natin yung compression bar it will tend na mas bumaba siya sa 800 megapascal na stress so mas lalong hindi siya papasa sa code na ito okay yun yung uh, yun lang yung uh, parang conclusion niya kung tatanggalin mo yung compression bar diyan mas liliit yung stress yung actual stress and of course mas liliit yung strain so may tendency pa na hindi mapas hindi mapasok yung code na ito. Hindi natin maipasa. Okay, I hope na uh, naintindihan nyo yung um, sinasabi ko dito because of this code. No? So, ito lang yun. Uh, is one of the main reason na hindi talaga natin i-disregard yung compression bar in using NSCP 2015 na mismo. Where in 2001, Romax man yung uh, basis natin sa in using doubly reinforced. Okay? So, I hope that is clear. So, that's it for this part 1. So, for part 2, and another case naman yung gagawin natin. No? So, I hope you learned something. And please subscribe to my channel and like and share this video to your friends. Okay? So, stay safe everyone. Thank you and God bless.